The breaking news coming in from Kerala, Bishop Franco, who was accused of rape by a nun, has been acquitted. Let's go across to Sneha for more. Sneha, take us through uh, what happened in court. Uh, well, what we are hearing from the court, and uh, this is the verdict that has come out, uh, that has acquitted uh, the accused Catholic bishop, Franco Mulekil, of all the charges that were filed against him by the police. Of course, uh, based on a complaint of a serving Catholic nun. So the charges that were against uh, the Catholic bishop, Franco Mulekil, was of rape, uh, illegal confinement, criminal intimidation, among others. And he has been acquitted by the court in Kotem. We are yet to hear on what does uh, the bishop's team or the bishop or Franco Molecule, as well as the nun who had raised the complaint and those nuns who stood with her uh, throughout these years demanding for action from the church, from the police, as well as the government, their responses, we are still awaiting their responses after this verdict, but the verdict is out. Uh, the complaint was first filed in 2018. Um, uh, uh, the complaint was given by the nun to the police saying that she was repeatedly sexually assaulted between 2014 and 2016 by Bishop Franco Mulekil. Um, allegedly by Bishop Franco Mulekil. That now uh, is a charge which Bishop Mulekil stands convicted of. This case, of course, saw several historic uh, protests in several ways. One being these nuns coming out in their official attires and taking to the streets in protest. Um, they, they were protesting for days or weeks outside uh, the Kerala, very near to the Kerala High Court, demanding action from the police, uh, from the church, and uh, from the government based on the complaint of the nun. And uh, it was uh, after these protests that, uh, during these protests, that uh, Bishop Franco Mulekil was even summoned and questioned for three days. Subsequently, he was arrested. And then uh, eventually, I told you about the charges that were put, that was, uh, that were. Um, that were registered against him. But the court now giving a complete convict, uh, a complete acquittal uh, against Bishop um, uh, Franco Molecule or a complete acquittal in favor of Bishop Franco Molecule um, uh, despite the complaints that were raised by the nun. We are still awaiting further details. Uh, or further reactions right. from either side. Right, and Sneha, this is a story that you've reported so closely. Uh, you know, it, it took a lot of courage for the nun in the first place to speak out and then for the other nuns who actually came out and supported her. We know that some of them were even punished for being so vocal and speaking out. Uh, you know, as we've been saying, this is a case that's divided society and even the nuns had to face a lot of, you know, criticism, a lot of, uh, you know, attacks in terms of verbal attacks against them uh, for having stood up for the one nun who spoke out against the bishop. Well, uh, uh, the, 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 the whole journey or the way the protests or the way this case has unfolded has seen unprecedented protests by the nuns in India. Uh, never ever before such protests have held and it's not like a large group of nuns. It's been four to five of them who have stood, uh, stood by each other. They have time and again raised uh, allegations that they are under pressure from the congregation. They have raised allegations that they are being forced into action whether it be to, uh, to uh, comply to the transfer orders which they claim was to weaken the case. Uh, so that the complainant and nun could be left in isolation. There were several such allegations that were raised um, over the course of the past few years since the complaint was filed. But nonetheless, these nuns stood their ground saying that whether they fear for their life um, or what lies ahead, they stand with uh, the complainant and nun. They were also witnesses in this case. There were several witnesses uh, spanning across India uh, that the investigating officers did take statements of 
and uh, um, um, uh, based on which eventually the charge sheet was filed. But uh, the Bishop um, Franco Mulical has all through maintained that uh, in, the, in the beginning he came out saying that this is nothing but just a revenge or a vendetta that is being planned. He then moved the Supreme Court asking for um, uh, him to be discharged of the rape allegations. But the Supreme Court dismissed his petition saying that his petition does not stand any merit and uh, that he needs to go through the trial. And, uh, the convict and the verdict is now out. He has been acquitted of the charges.